Oh. Anyway, let's get back on track, shall we speak? Uh, Melbourne up against GWS. This is one that uh, both clubs desperately needed to win. For the Demons, though, four of the last five goals, and it got them the points. And when you needed someone to stand up and claim heroic honours, there yes. was one man. Yeah, it was. Perfect conditions at the Gabba. You know, 30, uh, 23 goals kicked. And uh, that man you're talking about is Trent Rivers, and uh, he joins us. Uh, from the Gold Coast. And just on that, Trent, you know, you had to pick yourselves up. You had a horror run there in Cairns, losing two games. We all thought you'd win, but talk us through the build-up to the game and the response and how that was different to the previous two weeks. Mitch? Oh, I mean, in Cairns, it was pretty tough. Um, we didn't come out and play the footy that we wanted to, but, um, yeah, leading into the game, we just thought we'd focus on playing our game, playing our structure, and that's what we stuck to, and we got the win in the end. What does that mean, Trent? You know, focused on playing our game. So how was it different? Because uh, everyone at Melbourne watches Melbourne and says, why can't we play and be more? I think your effort's been pretty good, but it's just your ball movement at times and, and all those sorts of things. So how was it different to the weeks before? Um, like what he touched on, he just said that the last couple of weeks we were boring with our ball movement. And, I mean, as you can see here, Cozzy's running through the middle and stuff. But, um, look, we, we switched the ball. We moved it really well. We ran really hard. And um, we were able to get on the outside of them and get yeah, 50 goals because of it. Yeah, just on that, I just thought that, yeah, you got more out of other players. So Pickett's game was sensational. Obviously, uh, you know, Christian Salem, Oliver. Yeah, you know, but then you've got guys like at the top end, May and Petrarca in particular, who have been brilliant. Talk us through your role. You've been a half-back flanker for most of the year, but then you've gone forward and kicked a couple of goals. Oh, yeah, well, I pretty much played uh, back flank all year, and I was just lucky that, you know, my defensive positioning, um, which is something that I've been working on all the years, uh, put me in the right spot to kick a few snags. Well, let's look at your highlights because you are the match winner for the D's. Kicked your first goal last night, and as Lordo alluded to, you kicked a couple. I wanted you to take us inside this moment right here. I'm not oh. so sure if you can see the vision, but a 50-50 ball against a good opponent. You whack it onto the left boot, and it goes through. Of course, all by design, Trent. <laughs> yeah, I meant every little bit of it, so um, <laughs> nah, I'll, I'll take it. But um, nah, it was, I mean, I had the chat from um, Jake Lever behind me telling me to push forward, and... Um, you listen to him and, uh, I mean, the result comes, so... As free-flowing and as high-scoring it was, it looked like a really physical game. Both sides, big clashes, nobody taking a back step. How did it feel when you were out there? Because I've seen a lot of games this year where it's almost been training drills, but last night it was brutal. Yeah, it was very... Um, it was, it was full-on, like, from the start. We were, we were going pretty early. Um, a lot of bumps, a lot of hits. I hope a lot of boys have woken up pretty sore this morning, but... Um, it's a physical game and uh, we're a contested team and that's what we do best. Trent, I watched Simon Goodwin on the boundary line. He rode every kick, every yeah, bump, every handball. How do you, how's he held up through it all? Because he's been under siege in the media. A lot of Melbourne supporters wondering if he's the right man. But mm. the emotions of Simon Goodwin in hub life. Uh, he, he's great. He's absolutely unreal. And um, every, I reckon every player here would back him until the sun comes down. Um, you know, he's awesome. He's supportive and it's all we can ask for. Maxie Gorn, I wanted to ask you about Yarra, um, because he's been obviously a captain. <laughs> Yarra. Yarra Rivers. Um, but um, I was watching, because I love numbers, and I was having a look at him. Have a look at that 11. That is the closest number ones I've ever seen to him. How close is that 11 there? Just unbelievable. Billy, I've got to tell you, between that, <laughs> that observation the and the pig, you are on fire today. What, what's he like as a captain? Because he's a, he's a, different, a different captain, Trent. He is. Um, he's, a, he's a different unit, but um, we all love him. And, uh, look, he's, he's very straight to the point and he wants um, the best out of everyone. So um, he drives that with himself by his standards and um, we all follow behind him. And, mate, of course, you live with the Brayshaws when you are back in Melbourne. How's all that going? Yeah, it's good. Um, haven't really <laughs> talked to them too much, but um, hopefully they're going well. And, uh, I mean, Hamish debuted uh, was earlier this round and yeah. then, you know... Angus has um, <laughs> hurt his foot, so I mean, they've probably been through a bit of a whirlwind, but I'm um, hoping they're going all well back home. Trent, one more. Who made the biggest change to their body shape and their work rate out of Christian <laughs> yeah. Petrarca and Stephen May? Because both have been phenomenal this year. Oh, I think it's definitely going to be Stephen May. Um, yeah. Last 12 months, I reckon he's just turned himself into a completely line. new player. Um, intercept marking, Tough. spoiling, communication, he's done it all, so. And he's pretty strong with you blokes on the back line, isn't he? He doesn't mind dishing out the odd spray. No, he'll give it if it's, uh, if it's due, but um, no, he'll definitely be, he's 
the hardest critics himself, so um, he'll be just as hard on himself as anyone else out there. Now, come on, Trent. I mean, you're only a young bloke. You're, you're in the early stages of your career. You're just a little bit too modest for our liking there. I mean, you're the hero of the day. Come on, yeah. give us a little bit of a strut, mate. Surely you'll be strutting around that <laughs> hub this week yeah, yeah. as the man that saved the season. Uh, <laughs> See how it goes. Hopefully, if we can make finals, I might give myself a little bit, but um, we'll just take it uh, this week and, um, yeah, go from there. Have you got a girlfriend, Trent, and has she joined you up there in the hub? No, nah, I don't. Not at the oh. moment, Billy. Oh, good oh, looking. Oh, he's a good yeah. looking rooster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wowee. Yeah, six foot two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, young and can play and a good boy. Well brought up. From Perth, actually. Yeah, Frio. Frio boy. That's He's from... Well, I'll give the votes, TJ. Oh, and yeah. it was dominated, right on, dominated <laughs> uh, by two men. Good May man. and Petrarca, super seasons. Uh, Daniels, three, three goals, best game we've seen him play. And Josh Kelly... Uh, they're a better side when he's back in 24 disposals. All right, Trent, there you go. Well, thanks Ooh. to Billy, your Instagram account will be overflowing yes. with new likes. So uh, good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. All right, good work, Trent Rivers joining us there.